And we're off. And this is the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 24th of April 2021. And I'm having my boiler service today. So if I go off the air and there's like a big gap and then I come back, and you'll know why that's the reason. Actually, it's with British Gas. Um, I'm not particularly happy about the installation they did to the boiler, although the actual fitment was fine. It was just the rest of the stuff. Um, thank you to Garant for installing it. He did a really good job. But they've sent me five texts this morning already. Probably just to make sure I'm wide awake. And I have every sympathy for their engineers. Fire and rehire. I'm not in favour of that at all. Um, so there's the prelude. Also, in the prelude, this is Session IPA by Cloudwater, actually brewed by a Brewdog in Scotland. It's part of their, um, well, it's exclusive to Tesco's, and they do a four pack of beers. Um, collabs with small brewers, including uh, brewers in the BAME community. I haven't been able to find the four pack. Um, and it was a number of visits just to get three of these. So what's it look like? Hazy. Fruity, juicy. It's got oats in it. So it's a lovely mouthfeel. 4.5% alcohol by volume. Okay, so it's 0753 hours Zulu plus one. So it's a bit early, but I'm getting back into practice. Because that's what I do. Anyway, um, the word or phrase of the week. Well, it was going to be European Super League. That came on Sunday and it was gone by, what was it, Tuesday? Um, interesting. Um, very American. Um, no uh, relegations or promotions. But then again, no picks. And it was all the big teams. And the only ones that are left now, I think, are Barcelona and Real Madrid. Apparently, they're both in debt. So the money would have been good for them. Um, and in Spain, uh, I think the judge jumped in and said, uh, you can't stop them doing this because that's restraint of trade. I think under the sort of same principle as Bosman, this country went completely mad. Oh, you're not looking after the fans. You're not looking after the fans. And fans going, yes, all about the money. It's just become all about the money. It's profit and all that sort of stuff. And then the same fans, and when the transfer windows are open, saying the chairman and the board, they need to put their hands in their pockets and spend 25 million or 50 million or whatever. The time when it wasn't all about the money has long gone. And also, the Premiership, didn't they break away from the Football League? And there were similar things said. Okay, it wasn't quite as bad, but things change. Anyway, so it wasn't that. And it wasn't going to be the weather. <laughs> um, we still got high pressure weather, so it hasn't changed much. We're getting a rather cold nights. So there's a little bit of breeze around, so there's not too much of a frost. But the days are lovely. It was 17 yesterday. It's going to be 17 today. It's nice and sunny. It's good weather for drying your washing. Yep washing and um right so what is the word or phrase of the week no spoilers uh, you probably remember me banging on about for all mankind which is on apple tv plus last night friday was the end of season two slightly longer than normal absolutely excellent and during the daytime, I was checking in on Reddit for various things. And there are numerous groups on there for all mankind. Luckily, all those related to episode 10, season 2, the end was, were marked as spoilers. 
So no spoilers, and there will be no spoilers from me apart from you need to get it. You really do. It is excellent. I'm looking forward to a season three. There was a slight spoiler in there uh, for season three, and that was a foot on Mars. Anyway. This really is nice. Hang on. I'm just going to uh, refresh the browser on my Mac because you can track your engineer. Although they're not supposed to be here between... Um, well, I said between 8 and 1, and it's still saying prepared. And then it goes to in your area, on our way, and arrived. Okay. So, um, last Saturday and Sunday, um, planting potatoes. Uh, another 26 Premier, and then some Kestrel and Blue Danube, which are Premier are extra first earlies, Kestrel are second earlies, and Blue Danube Hungarian, and early main crop, all their four chips. I did some in the week as well, and uh, the ones in bags have been watering like the one wind. Those in the garden... I put some um, granular fertilizer on the top of them to keep their location and watered that, but that's all dissolved away now, and I have no idea where they are. And as you're aware, I'm on a water meter. But what can you do? There is no rain forecast for a long time. Anyway, um, Netflix. But there was a film on there called Anti-Life. And if you look it up on the sofa app, it's also called Breach. Bruce Willis is in it. Bruce Willis plays Bruce Willis again. Um, it's sort of like a space horror thing, but it's very derivative. And the story is a bit, hmm, no special effects. But if you get the chance to watch it, Unless you're hardcore into that sort of thing, I wouldn't bother. Because at the end, you'd go, hmm, I'm like for all mankind. Hmm. So the European Super League. Um, I think this will come and go and come and go and come and go. Um, the most exciting thing for me was on Monday, early on, Wrexham put out a tweet saying, um, for the avoidance of doubt, and I'm paraphrasing here, we will not be joining the European Super League. Probably because they're all drinking Wrexham Lager, or Wrexham Larger, as uh, Mr. Starmer's tweet put out this week. Spelling mistakes, uh, they are all over the place. Hmm. So yeah, um, already hot. And it's been hot in the office, and uh, when it was cold in the office, the heating wasn't on, and the heating is now still on. And some of the radiators you can't turn off. So much for the green agenda. Mm -mm. Right. Um, my postal vote has arrived, which I'm going to fill out and return tomorrow and put it in the post box. Um, these are Wales elections. I don't think there's any local council things. I've had various things put through the door. Um, Mr. Drakeford has said that pubs will open indoors on May the 17th, um, but he would need to be re-elected um, because May the 6th is the elections. Uh, various others have said that they would also do these if they get elected. <laughs> it's electioneering plus. Although, let's be perfectly honest, I haven't seen anyone come round and canvas. Which is just as well. I would wear a mask, though. But things. And um, I had a letter, which I wasn't expecting. And it was very nice. And um, possibly it will be used on Monday. To those... The person who did it, thank you very much. It was much appreciated. Uh, summer, maybe? Yeah. Um, I'm talking about summer. 
Okay, we're still in spring. We haven't even reached May yet. It's now light in the mornings. It gets light about, no, this morning, just about five o'clock. So driving into work, it's lightish. And before long, no headlights. I just can't believe where this year has gone already. But that's an age thing. And I will probably say the same thing next year if I am still around. Mm. Anyway, as I said, yeah, for all mankind, really, really, really good. Watched on my Apple TV. Apple TV HD. Um, Tuesday, the spring loaded event. He looks around, checks, yeah, they're still preparing. Um, one hour of Apple hard sell. We don't get the Apple credit card in this country. But the big news is the Apple TV streaming box. The 4K version is being updated. iOS 14.5 or tvOS 14.5 will give you the ability with your iPhone to configure your TV um, via your Apple TV box. I'm going to update. Um, I really am. Uh, the only thing is that you can't, I think you can order it now, maybe, um, but it's not going to be available until the end of May. So I'm going to look around and see if I can find someone with top cash back and get some money. <laughs> um, yeah, um, purple iPhones. Um, the M1 chip in the iPad Pro and the a M1 chip in the iPad. No, uh, what is it? iMac. Ooh. It's not that strong. Coloured and all that sort of business. Um, yeah, it was good. It was fun. Um, not half as much fun as the people dissecting it later. I'm waiting for WWDC now. Um, and probably by that time, I should have the new Apple TV 4K update with a rather old processor in there. But there is a world shortage of processors all over the place. So anyway, um, that was the week. It was interesting, certainly slightly different, um, and sunny, which I like. Although I wouldn't mind a bit of overnight rain due to the lawn, which I had to mow yesterday, and there's still scorch marks on it, although my next door neighbours proposed pipe over it last night. Thank you very much, Kirsty and Kate. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, let's just check. No, no sign of the of the engineer yet. Usually first. Let's hope I am. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. Um, feedback usually. Um, WordPress, Twitter, Facebook, anything, YouTube. Have a nice day and um, cheers.